Hello, I'm Siren, and I'm a digital human. I was created by an international team of artists and engineers who wanted to challenge our ideas of what a synthetic human could be. I've got state-of-the-art, real-time graphics and an unprecedented level of detail in my eyes, skin and hair. Cool, right? But I'm more than just a collection of fancy pixels. I'm actually being driven by a real human actress and her dynamic motion capture through Unreal Engine. So what are you waiting for? Come meet me at the Vicon booth and see for yourself. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creeps in this petty pace. From day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. <laughs> and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out! Brief candle! <laughs> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. <laughs> it is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, creeps in this petty pace. From day to day, to the last syllable of recorded time. <laughs> and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out! Brief candle! <laughs> Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. <laughs> it is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. What's the story with all the elevators lately? I heard Kylo Ren destroyed the one over in D Sector. If you ask me, who's ever in charge of this place should be transferred to Hoth. Uh -huh. What? She heard us? Yeah, I think she heard us. At least we blend in for once.
the lounge. Here's everything we else we know about it. We are only halfway through 2020, and Sony has already revealed several details regarding the best file. It's next generation console. We have learned about the console technical specs as well as its new dual sense controller and certain games. Oh, and then official website is live. We have even seen Unreal Engine 5 game running on the system and thought it was not of the full game. The technical specification of the system mean we would be approaching comparison in some games. We have also heard reports of the what could very well be this year. New Call of Duty game, which is will almost certainly release on PS5. Okay, for your information, everything that the PS5 will the leaks device or console will come come coming up next about uh, tomorrow in Thursday 11 pm or in Indonesia about the uh, 3 pm or 3 after midnight or some else around that o'clock but technically you can see the live on the PlayStation website, Sonic. Okay, I'm going to see how the folder this console as like a photorealism. Everything that the the controller this year console 4K 30 FPS or 8K 30 FPS. I don't know. We take a look after this Thursday will come out tomorrow. Okay. Next, PS5 planned to launch this holiday season and thought Sony hasn't revealed a final date of the order price. It will reportedly still arrive in 2020, and the ongoing pandemic is not impacting impacting this timeline. However. A bloober indicates we may need to prepare for some supply shortages at launch, as well as possibly reduce our extra promotion compared to Sony's typical product release. However, those supply shortages will not directly be due to COVID-19. Sony had set a reveal even for PlayStation 5 with the promise of the first of PS5 games for June 4. However, in light of radical justice protests occurring across the UK and other countries, the company postponed the event in order to stand back and allow more important voice to be heard. A new date has not been set and it's quite soon. The PS5 event will now take place on June 11. In terms of the what to expect, we may not get official price or risk date, as those factors could still be up in the air and may depend on Xbox Series X to some extent. In terms of well, we already know, we do have the console official name. And so primarily, the console is indeed called the PlayStation 5 just as was to be expected additionally we have learned about the logo looks like and it's equally unspecified the classic PlayStation symbol will also appear on the control called the dual sense the controller's name reflects its expanded capability including more haptic feedback compared to the dual 4 and variable assistant in the trigger. The controller sports a new look as well with a two-tone black and white design. During, during 20 and 19, it was revealed that the PS5 will also have PS4 backwards capability and SSD storage, and it will support PS. VR. The company has also outlined some green energy 
efficient initiative it is planning for the destination. If Sony follows the agenda for how the S4 was properly unfilled, we can expect this to house the special petition to even. There had been some speculation that such an action could take place in February, but that didn't happen. If or when such as the that could be when we learn about this like a prize and launch in my now. However, when something tends to go up in your info, it won't be a venue you might expect. Just like last year, A3. Sony planned to skip A3 2020 before it was cancelled. You can see the tables of contents of the Lineups PS5 Real Estate PS5 Price Will PS5 be backwards compatibility with PS4 games? PS5 Spec and Disk Drive PlayStation 5 Specs PS5 Controller Unreal Engine 5 Gameplay Can I use experimental storage with PS5? Will PS5 support PSVR the logo? energy efficiently, PS5 games, and the last is PS5 UI. Those kind of the questioning about our mind will be going to ask for the further away this the next generation console. Here it is the opinion of my short line of the have been I write wrote this in this description okay first one is about the ps5 release date this is surely the question on everybody's lips when will the ps5 comes up sony as you you would expect is tight light on the matter that it has confirmed and holiday 2020 release window for the playstation 5 the company has the no more specific that the Microsoft has also provided the same value window that historically November has been a frequent month for console release in the past. Pre orders are unlikely to go live until the release date of pricing information are revealed, but you can sign up for the pre order notification from several major retailers now. So this is kind of the PS5 will going to uh, or haven't released on this year but about the delay of the release date will come up the the next information but in highlight of the November will going to the release PS5 you know but we can see on the future next on about the price again Sony has not stated how much its new console will cost but it did say that the PS5 price will be attractive to gamers I believe that we will be able to release it at the SRP so get this suggested retail price that will be appealing to gamers in the light of its advanced feature set said Mark Kenley the lead architect of the PS5 no no PS4 who's currently working on the successor okay that the Mark certainly Mark certainly the lead architect of the working on the making of the PS4 last year yes yeah last year about the successor about PS4 design was no was I not uh, it's, uh, a great moment to just that the new console PS4 in the last year nice okay. it might be FUI for information PS5 design has not revealed 
as yet until now but you will can see on 11 June 2020 will release everything that we are seeing in our mind next of course you would expect Sony to say anything different but what gets the feeling the company has learned from the PS3 exorbitant flashback and the console's subsequent struggle and the PS4 more reasonable cost and seems successful this is especially likely considering Microsoft on struggles early in box Xbox One's lifespan as its price the system a full 100,000 above the PS4 and was forced to make cuts to address this latter. But everything that the Sony has been revealed the PS, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4 is kind of the, the use of the big changing of the console but the console was legend is PS5 is memorable yeah that's the kind of the, the best thing of the PS1 is memorable of console but I don't know but PS5 will be backwards capability to play PS1, PS2, PS3, and PS4 I would like to going to say that this one in this session okay this is the question will PS5 be backwards compatible, compatible with PS5 no PS4 games according to certainly confirm that PS5 will be backwards capable with PS4 games so that PS5 will show the compatible compatible about backwards compatibility to play game around PS1, PS4, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4 that's one the great news this will welcome news for those who were disappointed by the PS4 lacks of backwards capability with PS3, PS2, and PS1 games. In terms of which games, which games player can expect to play, the full list has been confirmed. However, certainly note that the PS4 100% most play games will be playable on PS5 at launch and all will run even better than before. Running PS4 and PS4 titles at boosted frequency has also added complexity. The boost is truly massive. This time around, the sum games code just can handle it. Testing has to be done on a title by title basis. The results are excellent thought. We recently took a look at the top 100 PlayStation 5 no no, PlayStation 4 titles as ranked by playtime and we are expecting almost all of them to be playable at launch on PS4. He also discussed about how backwards capability will be approached in the PS5 eternally and how the functionality will not be removed on subsequent console iteration given the nature of the tier approach to designing the future. One way you can achieve backwards capability is to put the previous console chip set into the new console. Like we did with some application 3S, he said. But that is of the course extremely expensive. A better way is to incorporate it and difference in the previous console logic into the new console custom chip. Meaning that even as technology evolves, the logic and feature set to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro titles rely on the still available in backwards mobility mode. One advantage of the strategy is that one backwards mobility is, is the console. It's me. 
is not as if a cost down will remove backwards ability like if it on PlayStation 3. Whether it's backward ability or the possibility of cross-generation play, we will be able to transition the community to the next step. He said, it won't be binary choices about whether you have to be either on PlayStation 4 or the next gen to continue to your pregnancy. In that mode, welcome news, that's fine. No, 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 S4 games will even run faster than they do know your current console. In part because the PS5 will contain a solid static drive as opposed to hard drive the current console chip with. Sony show off the faster loading time to bring an faster resolution in May. You can see the video on the YouTube, everywhere, or the Twitter Takashi Mo Mochi Hisuki. Okay, you can see the pre presentation of the faster loading times during during the game. Okay, we move to PS5 spec and this drive. This is where Sony has been surprisingly forthrightening with new information. The company has confirmed that PlayStation 5 will contain an AMD chip that has a GPU based on the third generation Ryzen. It will have 8 cores of 7mm Zen 2 microchip. The console will also support 8K gameplay, but this will of course be depend upon TV catching up. Replic will be driven by a custom version of Radeon's Nave Light. This graphic will chip will support ray tracing sometimes, which is starting to become popular in movie and video games. Although it is traditionally thought of the as lighting technique, according to certainly say, this technique all could also improve game audio. In fact, PS5 will fully support 3D audio. The aforementioned SSD is a big detail too, as it means games will load faster and be able to handle more objects on screen at once than current HDD drive console. Characters and cameras could move faster through game worlds as environment could be load it much faster than they are at present. It will also lead to faster install games for games and patch. As one de final detail, we know the PS5 will not to go the road of the export one as the digital edition, which is doesn't include as this drive. Instead, the PS5 will include a uh, this drive. So rest I sure you will still be able to buy and play physical game. PS5 this will have a capability of 100 gigas and the console will also support 4K Blu-rays. Sony has confirmed to that the PS5 is capable of supporting 4K visual at 120Hz. For those who have TVs that can support that. 120 Hz is a reverse rate around of double the rate of standard TVs. You can check the full spec. The next slide of the full spec of the PS5. Okay. Next about PS5 controllers. Sony has opened up on its vision for the PlayStation 5 controller by saying one of our goals with the next generation is to deepen the feeling of immersion when you play games. And we had opportunity with our new controller to re-imagine how the sense of the touch can add to that immersion. To the end, there are two key information in information with the PlayStation 5 new controller. First, we are adopting haptic feedback to replace the rumble technology found in controller since the 5th generation of console. With haptics, you truly feel a broader screen 
of feedback, so crashing into the wall in the race car feel much different than making a tackle on a football field. You can even get a sense for variety of texture when running through fields of grass or pole plodding through mud. Second innovation, innovation is something we call adaptive triggers, which is have been incorporated into the trigger button L2, R2. Developer can program the resistance of the triggers so that you feel the tackle sensation of throwing a bow and arrow or acceleration and off-road vehicle during rocky terrain. It combination with the hectic, this can produce a powerful experience that better stimulate various action. Game creators have started to reset early versions of the new controller and we can wait to see what their imagination goes with this new feature and their proposal. On April 7, Sony shared additional details reconfirming the control user as returnable battery. It also revealed that design, which as you can see above, it has a tone tone look and feature a brilliant microphone. So you don't need to wear a wet cell phone on live voice chat. Furthermore, the share button from the S4 DualShock has been replaced with that Sony has not dumped the create button. Details on what the change means have not been shared, with Sony explaining in PlayStation blog post. With create, we are only again pioneering new ways for players to create epic gameplay content to share with the world or just to enjoy for themselves okay we move to unreal engine 5 gameplay that uh, technically discuss in this section okay but my opinion on May 13, as part of the Kenley's Summer Games feast for the Epic Games Showcase, the Unreal Engine 5, for the first time with the gameplay demonstration running on PS5. This demo was not for a full game, but rather a slice of what the PS5 can do while using Epic Games' new technology. It featured extremely realistic visual no texture pop it, a smooth frame rate and the ability to transfer access from field directly into games rather that have to considerably rework them. Unreal Engine 5 will power Fortnite on PS5 by mid-2021. This technology will not be limited to the PS5, however, Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney clarify and few days after the event that the Xbox Series X will support the demo's technology as well, including its Lumen Lightning system and Nedic geometry. So for the Nedition, Nedition world have been questioning more of the question. Here it is. Can I use XML X expandable storage with best pipe best pipe allows user to install not sony proprietary expandable storage giving you the option to purchase of the self parts to slot in into the system according to a digital foundry reports nvme pc drive will work in best five but the only problem is that PC technology is significantly behind PS5 and Sony needs to validate them to ensure that they will work properly. In the PS5, Sony was testing experimental storage device to ensure that they can physically fit into PS5 and also deliver the required performance. The company has advised people not to purchase drive ahead of it revealing its recommendation 
So don't jump the gun just yet. It's your effort to prepare yourself for the incoming launch. PS5 compatible SSD storage in expected to come a bit past launch thought. Okay, the next question is will PS5 support PSVR? The current PSVR will indeed would be supported by PS5 as will the PlayStation Move controller. I won't go to go into the detail of our VR strategy. Beyond saying that VR is very important to us and the, the current PS VR headset is compatible with the new console. The system architect stopped short of the same whether a new PS VR advice device will ever come out however. The next is the logo. It was believed that Sony's brief at Chess 2020 could bring with the some PS5 news. But that only barely turned on to be the case. Sony Jim Ryan appeared on the stage to share some impressive stat regarding the PS4 and to reveal the PS5 logo, which is you can see below. It, it's hardly surprising maintaining the same style used to for recent generation. Beyond that, Sony had nothing new to discuss about the PS5 during the tax focus event. Next is talking about energy efficiency. Thought Sony has been generally quiet about the PS5 since the, its announcement. It came forward to reveal just slightly more information in conjunction with the announcement of UK initiative. The playing for the Planning Alliance aimed to make the video games industry more environmentally friendly. To that end, Sony announced that the new console generation of its hardware will, will use dramatically less power with less into suspend and sleep mode. Just 1 million PS5 users turning on the energy efficient feature would save enough electrically to power 1,000 US homes. The company is also conducting a carbon footprint assessment and looking into more energy efficient data center. Next on about the PS5 games, we don't yet know many confirmed games coming to PS5. It is reasonable to preach some annual titles like FIFA and Call of Duty would make the jump to PS5. Thought the developers haven't stated anything concrete. The full launch game list has also not been revealed. However, we don't know that Sony is planning on unveiling this soon. It had a PS5 event schedule for June 4, but it was supposed to confirm to show off some of the games coming to the system. The event has been pumped to an specific feature date. Currently, one confirmed as part game is Godfall and Lord based melee action RPG. It is scheduled for late 2020, which is more than make it the best 5 launch game. However, time will tell. Fortnite will be available on PS5 at large that will support cross progressing at and cross play. It will move to Unreal Engine 5 on PS5 in 2021. The next game, Battlefield game, will also be coming up to PS5 in additionally to Xbox S Series in 2021. Developer Dice confirmed in April. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be coming to current generation system as well as the ne next generation system, including the PS5. However, the first gameplay we see for the title will be from the Xbox Series X version, at, and it is unclear as of now what the differences will be between platform and the other game possibly confirmed to be playable on. PS5, it is the Final Fantasy VIII Remake. However, 
it is not clear whether Matsuda was referring to the dedicated PS5 edition for the for the game, or if he was simply referring to PS4 version being playable on PS5 via backward compatibility. If you later, then we can technically count every PS5. Eh, no, no, PS4 games as playable on PS5. Finally, we know Blue Point Games, the studio behind remakes such as, as The Shadow of the Colossus and Uncharted. The United Drake Collection is working on a PS5 game that is say is the big one. About the PS5 UI. PS5 use new user interface will allow you to see more detail about friends game without opening the application themselves. Even though it will be very fast to boot game. Say certainly, we don't have, we don't want the player to have the boot to the game. See what's up. Boot the game. See what's up. Multiplayer game server will provide the console with the set of the enable activity in real time. Single player game will provide information like what mission you could do and what rewards you might receive for complete them and all the, of the, those choices will be visible in the UI. As a player, you just jump right into whatever you like. Okay, after delay for more important voices, Sony sets a new PS5 reveal date. Sony has decided to postpone a planned PlayStation 5 reveal even scheduled for June 4, saying it which is to give to time stand back and allow more important voice to be heard. Update Sony has been set reveal date for June 11. It originally postponed the planned PlayStation 5 event in order to stand back and allow more important voice to be heard. So Sony has announced plans to host an event focused on PlayStation 5 on June at 1 p.m. PT or 4 p.m. AT. The PlayStation 5 presentation will run for just over an hour and will showcase the new PS5 games for the system and first real gameplay from Sony's next generation console. So, specific details beyond that have not yet been shared. But it's speaking with GameSpot. PlayStation will release in 2020 is then allowed to a guest Xbox Series X. <sighs> That's the those kind of the answer and eh, no no. no question and answer about the PS5 reveal, reschedule, and many more. That's all, everyone. Thank you for listening what I am saying today. Thank you very much to listen what kind of the important big news will come up. Thank you very much to spend your time to hear what i am saying today see you on the next video alada vista baby thank you very much and see you goodbye i am sugi i sign out bye bye